Yo, what's happening guys? I'm out here in a Joshua tree, just wheeling around. Stopped for a coffee break and figured I'd do a, a little video here on my truck. Um, got a confession to make. I've been living in my vehicles for the last four years. Uh, when COVID hit, I didn't have an emergency fund. I was, you know, living paycheck to paycheck and uh, was kind of tripping out at the thought of me losing my job. So... Uh, having watched a bunch of van life videos over the years and uh, having a natural interest in the outdoors. I mean, this is what I come and do every weekend is go out in the middle of nowhere and try to get away from it all, right? So uh, watching these videos, I'm like, man, I could probably get away with that. Uh, so last four years, I've been full time. Started out in a 2013 Toyota RAV4 XLE. Uh, nothing special, just basically a mattress and a cooler in the back. Uh, as time went on, I was able to save quite a bit of money because uh, thankfully I never lost my job. Uh, I maintain a full-time job, I shower at the gym, and I commute every day uh, to work. Um, but I've been able to stash away $3,000 cash into high-yield savings accounts and stocks. Uh, so I hope that gets some of you guys interested. Do the math over four years. Uh, I think I've saved like 147,000 in my accounts right now. I have 152. Okay. So, uh, and I have no plans in stopping soon. So I wanted to give you guys a rundown of this, uh, 2005 Toyota Tacoma base model four by four, uh, and just show you, you know, it doesn't take very much to get started. Uh, I've got everything that you guys got in a small apartment, just scaled down to the absolute max that I could think of. And, um, yeah, it, it becomes addicting, uh, this minimalist stuff, trying to maximize storage space and all that. But at any rate, I had bought into the truck. The next purchase was uh, this camper shell. I bought that off Craigslist, used. Uh, it was $250. It was from a company, so it had a bunch of decals all over it. Uh, it was like chipped right here, and on the other side, it's even worse. Uh, so I sanded it down. I bought a $100 uh, gallon worth of like a uh, truck bed liner made by Herculiner, it's called, and it's a brush on application, believe it or not. Uh, this was not done by like an air compressor or anything like that. So in a, in a weekend uh, for 350 bucks, I had this camper shell to which I could start living in my truck. Uh, I basically just put a mattress in the back as a start. Um, as time went on in the summer months, it got really freaking hot in Southern uh, California down here. So I purchased this rooftop tent that went on sale for $9.99 and I swooped it up. Uh, it's been a, a great investment. Uh, I spend all my time on federal campsites. Uh, I've got a pass called America the Beautiful. You can get them at REI for $80. That'll give you free access to all national parks, free access to all federal day use areas, as well as 50% off uh, federal campsites. So uh, most campsites will allow you to stay for 14 days. And I've basically triangulated uh, three different campsites around my work uh, so I can bounce around, you know, the three of them and never get uh, hung up uh, by law enforcement. So uh, at any rate, uh, after the rooftop tent, you know, because I don't have to do the stealth. That, that's the main reason I bring all that up. Um, so after the rooftop tent, I just recently purchased into some power which is a 100 watt uh, SIG solar panel, and that's wired down into the cab uh, through the rear window here, uh, leading to a 2400 watt power station by Opes. I'm actually in the process of replacing this with a Blue Eddy. Uh, this model does not allow pass-through charging, which means you cannot use it and charge it at the same time, which kind of defeats the, the purpose of the whole off-grid uh, deal. So do your research when you're looking for a power station. Uh, up on top of here is my WeBoost antenna amplifier. Uh, back behind here is a portable solar panel, 200 watt, uh, made by Renogy. Uh, 
you know, sometimes you're not you're not always trying to park in the in the sun to use your primary uh, solar panel. Sometimes it's really hot, so you may look for shade uh, for your truck and then want to pull this guy out to run to chase the sun, right? So that's why I've got two. Um, I've got some noise canceling headphones just so if I got noisy neighbors, I can drown them out with that. I guess leading over to the other side, because I do maintain a full-time job, like I said, and I uh, shower at 24-hour fitness. And what that looks like is I'll pull up to my parking spot, open these two doors, and I've tried to do it in a way where I'm not moving a bunch of shit out of the way to get what I need. So right here lives my gym bag. Inside of here is a towel, typically like my dirty clothes from the previous day and then uh, some soap and stuff like that. I'll grab uh, these dirty clothes, boom. Right here is a laundry bag that I'll stuff all my stuff in here. It's got like odor neutralizing stuff in there, so it doesn't smell at all in my truck. Uh, from there, I've got an empty bag to start replenishing. Now I'll start grabbing, you know, underwear, socks, shirts, uh, pants, whatever. Stuff them in here and I'm off to the to the gym, right? When I get back, I'll usually just stuff this guy, boom, there. Uh, I just did laundry, so this is overflow. As I deplete my drawers, this will work its way into here. And uh, typically the only thing that's sitting here is my toolbox, which I've uh, itemized every tool that I need to fix my truck out on the trail. I have it in that box along with like uh, extra hub assemblies and random parts in there. Uh, I guess going on to the back where the magic happens, uh, I guess we'll start with my portable kitchen here. Damn! I bought a uh, rifle case to which I've installed a two burner stove. Um, got a little flamethrower gun here to start fires and if i want to cook something fast like a sausage or a hot dog i could do it with this without you know dirtying up any dishes uh, down below this i've got a, a scraper for my cast iron a fork knives and a spatula windscreen and that all lives right here tortillas from last night and then a uh, lid for a pot I will show you in a second. Here is a ammo can which I use uh, for spices and I got some Ziploc bags for the leftovers. I can stuff them in my uh, 12 volt fridge. Down below there is a cutting board. Okay everything's cut out into foam so it's got a, a space and you know if something's missing right. <laughs> um, Right here is a cast iron pan. It's great because when I'm cooking and it's hot, I wanna pull it off. I've got this metal ammo can as basically a, a little rest, right? Down below the cast iron is a collapsible pan or pot. Down below there is a nether pot, which I use just for coffee. It's got sugar in there and then a drip uh, filter. Boom. Boom. And that buttons up. And lives underneath my bed. All right. Do this. Boom. Just slide it on in. Now, for the longest time, this was just dead space. And anytime I would take off uh, from a green light, this would come and slam my back doors. And I kept thinking it's gonna pop open on me. Uh, I was at Bass Pro and I found this, which is an ammo crate and uh, fits in there perfectly. And what I've chose to use it for is a pantry. So it fits uh, your standard cans and uh, yeah, I got anything from beans to corn to chili, soup, and so on. Uh, last thing you want to do is not be prepared when you're out on the road and be stuck to 
find a meal at a country store that's going to charge you eight dollars for a can of chili you know i go to walmart i'll stock up on deals like uh, five cans for five bucks type of deal and i'll be good for like two weeks once it deplete depletes i'll make another run so boom as you can see all that void space is gone now uh my bed is made of a plastic dunnage shipping rack now i can pull this out at any moment and uh, use my truck all this stuff is not built in okay i pull it all out and use my truck bed as intended um little uh ipad i can watch back here i can kind of flip it around and watch it from bed i can uh, watch it from over there and over there so kind of cool uh got a body pillow here which uh is really comfortable and it also helps with the insulation of uh kind of keeping the cold air away from me right uh beside the bed i've got some barbecue gloves so i'm not constantly having to wash my hands i've got a tarp pole along with like a slumber jack if you guys are familiar with that it's a fabric tent that i can put up and over and it makes a 15 foot tunnel coming this way for shelter from you know rain or sun whatever uh, i got a backpacking stool just connected to a molly panel bedside i guess this back here uh this came out of my rooftop tent and i basically just put it here uh, to utilize this dead space and there i keep all my chargers portable batteries and what have you uh this is actually from super long ago uh, like napster days i've got like 900 videos or movies on there full length movies that i could watch off grid uh these are all the places that I've been to uh, that the lifestyles afforded me to go. Uh, the national parks are basically my, my bucket list uh, that I'm trying to complete. Now, on this bedside, you'll find a toilet, which I try not to use, but it's freaking great to have. Just so you're not clenching cheeks at three in the morning trying to find a place to take a dump. Uh, inside this bed, I've got some cat litter some uh, waterproof bags, a little urinal deal, and then some teepee uh, and a waterproof bag. Boom, that lives there, and it's usually bungee cord. Uh, but the bungee cord is being used because the shock broke. And I didn't, I'm so cheap, I don't want to re uh, rebuy one. So I just kind of connect it here. Boom. Oh. Um, so that'll typically bungee this in. Beside that is a napkin dispenser, chef's knife, a little broom to keep everything nice and neat. Another form of entertainment is an old school uh, Game Boy. If anyone's from the 90s, it's got Paper Boy on it. That's my freaking favorite game. Uh, back here, we've got a 12 volt fridge. Uh, which is a 52 quart. I started with a really small one, but as time went on, spending more time away from stores, I just made this kind of the focal point of the build. Um, right here, like bug spray, two knives, a honing steel, a uh, bear mace that is accessible when I'm in my bed. I just bought a biometric gun safe to be able to bolt to my uh, truck bed here using this dead space. Uh, my plan is to have a mag in my glove box, and then when I go to sleep, I can kind of uh, go to sleep with it. And if I hear anything sketchy at night, I can put my thumb right here, boom, retrieve my gun, and then load it, and then start making commands or whatever. But um, yeah, that's one of the benefits of basically living in uh, recreation sites, because the legality of... Uh, carrying guns uh, from my understanding i'm not a lawyer but you can carry guns to and from recreation sites um at any rate uh up here is like a dual zone uh weather station uh, so it tells me how cool it is in my camper shell back here as you can see it's six degrees cooler than uh my uh truck cab up there 
39% humidity. That's actually bad. That's because of uh, sleeping in here. And it's got the date, the time. It's even got like a forecast on the weather as well as uh, the sunrise, sunset, and the tide, which is fantastic as a fisherman. Um, I guess lastly, we've gone over the bed. We've gone over the kitchen. We've gone over the pantry, the uh, fridge, the toilet, right? Now, uh, the last thing you might be wondering is if I'm not near a 24 hour fitness, how do I shower? And the answer is this guy. This is a little fold out booth that I can uh, stand in and take a shower. And um, this is typically what I use to shower. I'm actually gonna do it here in a minute. So I've got a little insecticide uh, sprayer. It's a two liter. And uh, I've got this guy, which is an induction water heater. So having that power station in the back uh, is fantastic because I can just set this in there for five minutes, heat up a nice warm shower, deploy my tent, and be off to the races. So uh, at any rate, if there's anything in this video that uh, you guys have questions on, feel free to comment, let me know. Uh, you know, I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. And uh, yeah, I hope this inspires you guys to, especially you young, single, you know, guys that don't have fucking shit going on in your life. You know what I mean? Maintain a job, sacrifice as much as you can right now. So you're not sacrificing when you're freaking 80 years old, you know, and struggling. Have no energy to help yourself. So at any rate, thanks for watching. All right, baby, now you want to know how I ride, huh? You want to know how the King C ride? Baby, when I ride, I ride the best because I come from the West. Baby, let me show you how I ride. When I ride, I ride. Pow, baby! <laughs> now how you like that shit? That's a fine and dandy motherfucker. That ain't it, baby. This motherfucker take me anywhere I go. That's my shit sitting on Dayton, baby. Gold motherfucking Dayton. I ride gold fashion, baby. You know what I'm saying?